All right, y'all, it's a balmy summer day and we are back in beautiful St. Bernard Parish, the place that we want you to come see what a seafood paradise it is. You can literally come here, grab you a couple nets from one of our tackle shops here and catch your own crabs. And I'm gonna show you just how to do it. The first thing I've looked for when I wanted to catch crabs was a, a bayou or an area where I know there's gonna be moving tidal waters. And this is a bayou called Bayou Bienvenue. I've got my nets. I just put it into launch. We're baiting them up now. I've got a lot of frozen fish. So I go out and catch that myself and here's how we do it. But if you're not able to do that, you can definitely find bait here in town, whether you use fish, everyone loves to use chicken necks when they go crabbing. And if you're not sure what to use, definitely ask the folks at the tackle shops when you go to get your nets, what you can use for crabbing. Now we do have a very special guest on today's show. This is my buddy, Adam. What's up y'all? And tell them who you are and what you do, man. I'm Adam Sanderson. I'm from West Monroe, Louisiana. I also have a YouTube channel called Redline Outdoors, and uh, I'm a full-time fireman back at West Monroe, Louisiana. So Amen. I love you all to join along with us, and here we go. Now, what do you normally do on your YouTube channel? It's mostly all hunting and fishing, similar to yours, but uh, I don't have all the... Uh, I don't have as many resources where I live, but it's mostly hunting and fishing. A lot of whitetail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what made you want to come down and check out St. Bernard? Man, watching your videos definitely made me want to come down here. It's, uh, it's, it's, I just got here yesterday. I was able to get on some fish down by the hotel yesterday. And this is my first time out crabbing. And uh, there's a lot of resources down here for sure. Let's go. Got a couple more to beat up and we're gonna be putting them out. We're gonna show you how simple and easy this can be for you. Uh, you don't need much of a boat. I've got a little 18 foot boat. This is called a Go Devil motor. Um, but you you could do this in a 14 foot boat if you, you know, just bring whatever you got. Don't worry about it. Bring a kayak, it don't matter. We're gonna show you how easy this can be when you come to St. Bernard. You can catch your own seafood. All right, so this is the main channel. We're gonna put our nets off to the side a little bit, mostly just so we're not in the way of all the boats that'll be coming through. And we're just gonna drop them off the side at them. Ready? Yep, drop them off the side, throw your cork out, that's it. Rinse and repeat. We're running 10 nets today. Normally I'd like to have, you know, 15 or so, but that's what we got. I do seem to lose them quite often. So we're running with 10 today. That should be good, Mr. Adam. There it goes. I've got, uh, man, I don't know, That that's at least 10 foot of line. I've never sat there and measured it. But I should be fishing in about four to five foot of water right here. As you can see, there's boat traffic. That's why we're staying off here to the side. All right, whenever you're ready. And I'm gonna bump in a little bit. Louisiana marsh in the background today. You get to see all kinds of beautiful sights when you visit St. Bernard. Got some ducks walking along the bank. Started. Use it. There you go. Good. 
it up quick. Feel it. Feel that booty. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Summertime, you got to get it up quick. These crabs are very active when the water warms up. But Adam's doing a great job. I'm going to spin him back in. Come on, crabs. No? No crabs. Man, they are chewing, though. Golly. Yeah, go ahead. Right on this one. Yeah, oh, good one came out. That's all right, we'll get him. That was a good net. Come on, little guy. One came out in the boat or no? No, uh, that was Okay, all right. Man, that was a good one that came off. Yeah, you can put it back. No bait though. Golly, man. That's crazy. We gotta rebait a bunch of Okay. There you go. A little bit of guy. Alright, you can throw it back. Let me uh let me get you in a little bit further. We'll always know that it's our last one because it's got the biggest fish. All right, folks, and that's what we got on our first uh, pickup. A few small ones that will eventually go back, but we got to start, and that's all you got to do. You just keep checking them. They annihilated this bait right here. We got to rebait a few of these. I mean, look at that. Just annihilated them. Oh, Beautiful day on the bayou. Get that net and they won't let go. Hey, Jerry, I give you 20 bucks if you stick your hand in there. Make it 50. <laughs>
y'all we had a pretty good little morning we got a couple dozen crabs and our tide definitely ran out and at this point you could probably go back to the hotel for a little while go relax till the tide starts again there's plenty of tide charts available to be able to know when that happens how it happens we wanted to do this before it got really hot so we didn't necessarily plan the trip around the tide we planned it you know basically get out here early before it gets too hot you can come back this evening. There's lots of different things you can do, lots of ways you can slice this up. Make sure you bring plenty of bait this time of year. Those crabs were very hungry. Definitely worked for our bait faster than I anticipated, but nonetheless, a good time. We're still in St. Bernard. There's a lot left to do. Y'all stick with us. So guys, if y'all come down here and go crabbing and you want to be able to semi-handle these crabs, just put them in ice. They won't die. It's just a, what they call an attitude adjustment. They chill out and you can handle them after that. Has the big round apron like that. And this is a fat crab. It'll have a lot of meat because you can see all this dark coloration. Whereas a crab like that it's a little bit lighter you see the difference in mm -hmm. color and that's also a male okay see how that apron is different his mm -hmm. is different it's a good crab actually that's a light crab so I'm pushing on his shell and it's a little soft so he's a little bit lighter he won't have nearly as amount of meat as this one as this one that's a good hard rusty female nice rusty crab but we're gonna eat good regardless. Yes, sir. Mr. Ducky. All right, Adam, I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that you've never grilled blue crab before? I've never had a blue right. crab, period. Okay. You've never had one, period? No, oh, we're about to knock your socks off. All right, so a lot of folks down here in South Louisiana will boil these crabs in uh you know a hot 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 burning water with a bunch of cajun seasoning we're not doing that we're gonna go ahead and grill them on the barbecue pit here in order to do that first thing you got to do is remove the apron throw that away and then what we do to help get all the good flavor in there we want to pop that shell off throw that away too all right once you get that off go ahead and rinse it out Remove the gills, get those out of there. And that is pretty much it. I'll, you know, kind of take the front part of the face off a little bit, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much ready to go on the grill just like that. And you're gonna lay it uh, with the, the belly side down like that. And then we'll put our seasoning on top. So I'm gonna get the rest of these done and we'll get them on the grill. All right, once you... Get them all cleaned up. Your grill should be already hot. Start laying them out on your grill. That's what you want to hear, that nice sizzle. They don't need to cook that long. They will dry out if you're not careful. All right. All right, for my seasoning, I'm gonna use my buddy Hot Rod's Creole Barbecue Rub. He's actually from right here in St. Bernard. He's got a lot of different stuff that he has on his website. If you want to check it out, that's hotrodscreole.com. And I like the idea of just having barbecued crabs. Get it on there real good. Alright, close your lid. Let that go for a few minutes. You know they're uh, cooked when they turn orange. When they're completely orange, there's no blue left. See, like that one's still got a lot of blue left. That one got a lot of blue left. This one here is just about done, so I'm going to kind of get it off the direct heat and let it sit up there for a little while. All right, and as they're getting near the end, I'm going to go ahead and add a pinch of butter to each one of them. Right there in that little crease. All right, and once I got my butter in, I'm going to just top it off with some kosher salt just because salt is really good and a lot of hot rod seasonings don't have a lot of salt. I happen to like a lot of salt. So we're going to top it off with some salt. They are pretty close to being done. I think they can all, at this point, be pulled off the direct heat, go to the top just to rest for a little bit. All right, and Adam was kind enough to go visit and talk with Mr. Charles Robin, our good old buddy, lifelong fisherman, and got these delicious uh, 
golf shrimp here and we're going to put these on the barbe as they say with those i'm going to go back to hot rod and his garlic butter that's really one of his kind of signature seasons that a lot of people love garlic butter and we're going to hit them shrimp real heavy need to get that heat down a little bit get some actual butter real butter Real butter. Alright, a little bit of salt. There it is. Close that up real quick, let the crabs finish, let the shrimp finish. We're gonna be eating good. That's how it goes down to St. Bernard. That's why we keep telling y'all to come down to St. Bernard, because this is how it goes down. You can pack you a little grill, a little, little charcoal grill, in the back of your car, in the back of your truck. We'll catch you some crab just like we showed you. Go get you some shrimp from Mr. Charles and do exactly what we do. There he is. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's a feast right there. That's just silly. And this could be you. This ain't just us. <laughs> we showed you where to go. We showed you what to do. Come on now. I'm going to start with the shrimp, man. I know it. That's the finished product on the shrimp. Like I said, my boy Hot Rod, his garlic butter seasoning. Go to hotrodspreel.com. Check him out. Right? That's fine right there. I know. Mm -hmm. Show me how to eat these things. All right, so with your crab, you know, we'll go ahead and break it like that. Okay? Now you got two pieces. Take one of your halves and crush it. And you should be able to start getting access to the back part of the crab is where the best meat is. Things are looking good, huh? That's good. <laughs> well, you see what's possible. That deliciousness, when you come to St. Bernard, plan your trip just like we showed you, that's what's possible. Once again, please go check this man out, Adam Sanderson with Red Line Outdoors. You know it's tough to make it on YouTube, right? They're not trying to give this type of career away, so we got to fight tooth and nail for every view we get. Anytime we can help each other out. So please go see him. Go into your search bar, type in Red Lion Outdoors. Check him out. Good family content. We want to see y'all down here in St. Bernard. Should they come? Absolutely. There's, there's plenty to do down here. All right. Well, we'll see y'all soon.